So this is a threaded shank, right? And so that thread is the same exact thread that's on the top of a beer coupler. So you can use the same beer hex nuts that you would use. <clears throat> so you have faucet shanks, rear shanks, and then whenever you're buying shanks, you always want to make sure that they're made of stainless steel. There are two types. You're going to find either stainless steel or chrome-plated brass. The chrome-plated brass shanks are a lot cheaper, especially if you're on a budget. But what happens is that chrome plating eventually wears off because a beer, wine, anything you're going to pour out of there will be acidic, and it eventually eats away at it. And as soon as the brass is exposed, it creates a metallic, weird flavor. So you don't want that anywhere near your beer. And it's, re and it's really porous, so it's really hard to get clean. So bacteria is going to wind up... Um, in your shanks, and it's going to be really difficult to, to, to get rid of it. So buy quality components. And so shanks offer a sturdy way to, to attach your beer faucets. So this is an example of like, I think a four inch shank. Go back to my overhead cam here. <clears throat> so we've got this is a jockey box shank here. The difference between a, okay, so this is, this would be, let me, sorry, let me jump back here. Going back to the, the rear coupling shank. So this is a rear coupling shank. So this is what we would put inside of a jockey box on the back of the cooler um, in order to allow beer to come into it. And then our coils would attach to here. So this is just a way for beer to enter the cooler by a nice stainless steel, very s sanitary, um, line here rather than using vinyl. So this is, would be a, just a really nice permanent way to do it. <clears throat> so again, if you want to do attach your beer line to the back of a shank, again, this, you know, screwed onto the top of a coupler, it also screws on to the end of the shank here. So this would be how beer would enter your shank wherever this is mounted so you could mount this um, you'll either see this in a tower so towers have really tiny ones and that immediately goes down um, you'll see these these big ones especially if you're you can put these into a walk-in cooler wall so if you just drilled a hole into a walk-in cooler you can sink one of these shanks into it and then connect your beer to the back of it so this is a really nice easy way to go through a wall um, or if you're connecting it to like a jockey or jumper box, you can have this externally, especially if you're if you're um, if you built like a mobile bar trailer that you have a, an exterior wall that you want to sink a bunch of shanks, and then you can connect your jockey box or jumper box to the back of this. Uh, this is a jockey box shank. It looks a little bit different. We always add these extension flanges on the side of it. What this does is it pulls the 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 faucet out away from the cooler a little bit more. It's not threaded all the way through because we don't need it to be because this is typically going to sit inside the cooler. So your cooler wall is going to be here. And then the other big difference is if you look on the inside of it, I don't know if you can tell, but there's these are drilled out a little bit. So this is a 5 16 bore that goes down into a quarter inch bore. So our stainless steel coils will fit right inside of this shank. And then the ID never changes. So the inside there are 5 16 coils is a quarter inch. So your beer um, stays the same ID all the way until it gets to the faucet. There are faucets, excuse me, there are shanks that have a the back like this. All of ours have these, so you can attach different size uh, tail pieces to it. You can buy these where the there's a just a barb on the end of it, and so you can basically directly attach the tubing to this shank by a, the barb that's on it. So it's a hollow barb that um, would basically look like, let's see if I can get this off. So some shanks have this like permanently attached to it. And so really all you gotta do is attach the tubing to it. So that's a way as well. So here's a quick example of what I'm talking about with the, the long six inch shank that I had in my hand. So this would be a long faucet shank going through a wall. 
which then would connect to some sort of tube, like a small jumper, shank jumper, like you want this as short as possible, which would connect to either like a jumpy bo jumper box. Or if this jumper box wasn't here, this could be a direct draw system where the beer leaving the keg, basically this tubing here would go directly from here to your shank. And if this wasn't here and this blue area was a walk-in cooler and this was like your bar area, and so that way all of this is cold and this isn't, this isn't necessary, this would be your faucet shank that was uh, sunk into the wall here, and then it just goes to your, your beer coupler.